Um, so starting off with the buffet that I have here right now. Um, the reason why I wanted to talk to the buffet um, was it was inspired by a charcuterie. So lots of dried meats, um, rustic breads, uh, cheeses. Um, a lot of our products really talk to a lot of this kind of food. Um, it's a really nice way to entertain um, your guests. Very easy for the hectic Dubai lifestyle that you might have. Um, you can prepare these meals in the kitchen, pull them out for when your guests arrive. You don't have to be cooking in the kitchen forever and then it's easy to clean away the table afterwards. So I'm going to start off with the, uh, the French kitchen um, marble Lazy Susan just here. Um, I picked this product out because I really like the marble, the natural textures. Um, I thought that it would be really great to talk to a lot of like, the, the, the um, a lot of your little kind of jars of condiments and things like that. Um, I picked this three, um, this, this little server here, um, and pulled that out, um, the little spoons and bits and pieces, but really easy for your guests just to kind of have a look at the selection of um, jars that you might have on the side. Um, with that in mind, um, I've popped on the table this Sylvia server here. The reason why I picked this out was because of the beautiful hand-hammered motif which is uh, on the platter. Um, this is food safe. Um, I would recommend putting my dried meats on top of it. Um, and then once you've uh, been eating, all your guests have been eating the way, um, they can, by the end you'll be able to see a beautiful motif underneath once the food starts to kind of disappear. It's really nice to start to have like all your best platters on the table and then as the food clears out, your know, guests can really see the, the beautiful pieces that are underneath. Um, so after that, I picked this two-tier server, marble server. I really like this piece because it does pick up the metal on the, on the platter as well. Um, and then you can also use something like this for crackers laid on the side, um, just really neatly on top of the selection on, on both tiers. Um, I've also picked out some wood pieces. I would recommend casually putting up a nice rustic loaf on the table um, and then throwing a couple of pieces off and then your guests can help themselves um, just to, to, to the bread as they, as they want. Um, also, I've picked out one of our um, beautiful pieces. It's a slate cheese board. Um, we have this in three different sizes. Um, I like this piece because I think it's quite quirky. You can write with um, chalk your different, it's a nice kind of idea is to write sort of your different cheeses, selections that you might have, just to sort of make sure that your guests understand the selection that you do have. Um, so what else have I got on this table? My favourite piece is the wedge server. I like this piece because it really elevates um, some of the products you might have on your, on your table. Um, I think it's really nice just to pop your knives and forks in a jug or something to the you can use something really quite casual, you don't need to have like a caddy or anything. Um, I've used this particular piece here. Um, and then I've pulled the table together with a lot of uh, with this rustically white plates. This is our Mercer collection, it's really lovely and quite cute. Nice texture. Um, and then if you, after you've laid your food out, you move on to your drinks for your guests. Um, it makes it easy for them. They can just help themselves to different glasses. You can pull it out on a tray, easy just to kind of pop out for them to help themselves and then they can pick from a selection of different drinks um, in something like this hand hammered um, beverage tub. So how I would recommend having this set out in your house. If you have quite a small house, you push your table to the side of the wall here. I would just make sure that you're tearing it down so you've got your higher, bigger pieces at the, at the back. Um, say you've got a bigger room and you wanted to centre your table, you can always put the bigger pieces in the middle um, and then make it easier to make sure that the lower items are around the edge of the table. So this is how I would lay out my chikutu. Now moving on to the next table, which is our...